What's up YouTube, Webbers5 here coming at you today with Q&A number 6. Sorry, I kind of forgot which Q&A I was at at the moment. Uh, but only a few questions on this episode, all posted by DarkPatrician84, so I'll just get straight into it. So his first question is, what did you think of, what did you think of normal pendulums? I'm assuming this is referring to the match I had against his normal pendulums. Actually, I'm not sure if I played them. I did watch him use it, though. Uh, yeah, it looked quite interesting. I mean, I do think normal pendulum is an interesting deck, because naturally they're normal monsters, so they don't have any decent... They don't really do much on field, but you can always alter what you're doing, depending on your pendulum effects, which is always quite interesting to see. Um, I frankly didn't see that much of it, because I think I can't... Because I think I was there part way through the match, so I didn't really see all of it. But from what I did saw, it was quite interesting. I do. I always think it's quite interesting for vin normal pendulums if you're playing the combination of ghost beef and mild turkey, because then you're always in that fun position of like, are you going to be able to try and pendulum summon what you want? So that's always interesting to watch. So yeah, I did very much enjoy. Uh, part of that also kind of answers the second question: is what did you what do you think of my build of normal pendulum? Um, so, from what I saw of it, it did look quite interesting. I haven't actually taken a look at your deck profile. I will probably take a look at that a bit later. But, yeah, as I said, Normal Pendulum is just generically a quite interesting build. Um, I've, I've done Vanilla Pendulum very briefly, but that was primarily virtually playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, because when you start the Arc 5 campaign, you're given a Normal Pendulum deck. And since naturally I didn't have any other packs to work with, I... I naturally, I did want to play Pendulum going through my run-through, so worked with the Vanilla Pendulum deck for a while until such a point I could actually upgrade into a proper Pendulum deck. But yeah, it was quite... But yeah, normal Pendulum's always quite interesting. So, and third, have you ever considered playing normal Pendulums yourself? So, as I just mentioned, I did play it on the video games, but in, li but in live TCG, I... Probably wouldn't play normal pendulum. There's just so many good pendulum strategies out there at the moment So there's lots for me to work with. I don't really feel the need to just stick to a vanilla pendulum which is Basically base your strategy around what kind of pendulum effects you want to use And for the moment, I'm very happy with Endymion as a pendulum deck I've still got most of my pendulum magicians if I ever choose to go back to that I've got Odd Eyes as well, which I've got as a decent Pendulum deck. And right now, the only main Pendulum deck I'm trying to focus on building is Draco Slayers for the new support in Darkwing Blast, which is now, at the time of recording this, approximately about two months away, which is not so bad. So, really looking forward to that. And that's all the questions I've got on my Q&A, so this is a very short episode. So, big thank you to Dark Magician 84 for those questions. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.